now that you've unlocked the bootloader of the OnePlus 3 and you've installed a custom recovery, the very next thing that I recommend you do is create the first Nandroid backup. Now an Android backup is a way to make a full and complete backup of all the partitions or any of the partitions you select on your device. This is a great idea because a lot of root applications and root modifications can actually break your phone and send it into a boot loop or cause errors and it can sometimes be hard to revert those changes individually. So for example, if you want to install something like Exposed Framework, or you want to install a custom kernel, or even a custom ROM, before you go through with that, you should go ahead and create an Android backup. That way, if one of those modifications doesn't work on your phone for some reason or if you just don't like the changes that it made to your device then you can simply boot back up into recovery mode and do a restore that restore will bring your device back to the exact point that you created that backup so then you won't have that custom kernel or custom rom or exposed framework or whatever else you did it won't be on your device at all. So to do that, we first need to boot the OnePlus 3 into recovery mode. If you don't have that advanced power menu or you're unsure of how to boot the OnePlus 3 into recovery mode, be sure to check the link in the description below. The full tutorial has links that will walk you through each and every step of what we're going to do here. So we're just going to boot into Twerp. Now once you boot into Twerp we're going to tap on the backup option. As you can see here, we have the list of all the partitions we have that we can back up right now. You don't have to back up the cache. And you don't have to back up any of these. I just like to create a full backup whenever I make a Nandroid backup. So go ahead and select all of the partitions that are listed there. I also recommend that you set a custom name. This is great because if you have multiple backups on your device, it can become confusing unless you say specifically what it is. Even if you're creating the second stock backup, just having the date at the end of it can definitely help out. So this is a stock firmware for me and it's rooted. So I'm just going to name it stock rooted and add the date to it. Tap on that blue button at the bottom right to confirm that's what the name I want. And you can also go through here and add an option. You can enable compression if you want. And then encryption if you want to add another layer of encryption on top of this. Whenever you're ready though, just go ahead and swipe the white arrows to the right and it's going to start the backup process. You see this backup for me is going to be 4.3 gigs. Depending on how big your backup is, the more data, the more apps, the more media you have on your device, the longer this backup will take.
you can see it's backing up the different partitions we selected boot system data Now that the backup's done, all we need to do is tap the reboot system button and it will reboot us right back into the Android operating system. And there you go. Now you have created your first Nandroid backup on the OnePlus 3.